cells and its organelles. Cells are the smallest structures of life and are of extreme importance for the medical profession, as many diseases have their effects in a cellular level. For example, viruses infect cells and hijack their machinery. Cells are made up of microstructures, called organelles, which carry specific functions within the cell. In this video, we will talk about some of these organelles and their importance. The nucleus is where DNA is present in the cell. It is also where transcription and replication of DNA takes place. The nucleus contains chromatin, which is basically DNA packed around histone proteins. It has also a nucleolus, where ribosomes are synthesized. The entirety of this organelle is surrounded by a double-layered porous membrane that allows for RNA to move into the cytoplasm of the cell. Another important organelle are the ribosomes. Ribosomes are small organelles that contain two subunits. It is made up of ribosomal RNA and plays a vital role in protein synthesis. The ribosome can be free-floating in the cytoplasm or bound to organelles, such as the rough endoplasmatic reticulum. The rough endoplasmatic reticulum is a membranous organelle that occupies most of the cytoplasm. The rough endoplasmatic reticulum, also called the rough ER, has this name because of ribosomes, which are stuck to its walls. These ribosomes make, make this organelle the main site of protein synthesis. Most of the proteins synthesized by the rough ER are transported to the Golgi body and excreted from the cell. Most cells also contain a smooth endoplasmatic reticulum, which, similarly to the rough endoplasmatic reticulum, is also a membranous organelle. However, it does not contain ribosomes stuck to its walls. This organelle is involved in the synthesis of steroid hormones and lipids. The plasma membrane is relevant in controlling movement in and out of the cell, as well as providing a barrier between the inside and the outside of the cell. It is made up of amphipathic phospholipids and has many receptors which allow for communication from the outside world with the cell. The Golgi body is an organelle located close to the nucleus and is formed by several folded membranes. It is involved in maturation and packaging of substances, most of which are excreted from the cell. Vesicles are formed when substances are covered by a membrane. This is the main way chemicals are transported into and out of the cell. When compounds are being secreted from the cell, the vesicle fuses with the cellular membrane. And when a substance is being engulfed by the cell, part of the membrane breaks off to surround the acquired chemical. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell, as they are the main site for ATP synthesis through the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain. The mitochondria is formed by a double-layered membrane, which forms folds called cristae within the organelle. Peroxisomes are metabolic centers of the cell that deal with the breakdown of H2O2 into H2O and O2, preventing it from getting to toxic levels. It is also a site for fatty acid metabolism. Lysosomes are vesicles containing hydrolytic enzymes that break down substances or organisms that are phagocytosed by the cell. They also play an important role in apoptosis, which is programmed cell death. The cytoskeleton has an important role in cellular organization movement of vesicles, structure of the cell, and cell movement. There are three different types of filament that makes up the cytoskeleton. An actin filament that mostly surrounds the cell for structure and movement. An intermediate filament which gives support to the cell if it comes in contact with other cells. And microtubules which are involved in the organization of the cytoplasm. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe.